so let's be honest here, everybody. Everyone wants to watch the Super Bowl, make their dreams come true. But if you find it boring like me, then you just go upstairs and make a Bloons YouTube video. Simple as that. And but today, guys, I have something pretty exciting for you. So, let's tell you the story, okay? Uh, so, I wasn't really, uh, like, grinding for my clan or anything. You know, my clan, me, it's not the best. We only got, like, 100,000 keys by the end of each week. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty good. I don't think I can enter you guys if any of you actually want to join. <sighs> uh, but yeah, guys, so, there's BFB Coliseum that's open, but I don't want to do this strategy in here. Uh, so... Uh, I just came across this strategy, because I was trying to go to BFB Coliseum, and I misclicked, and I accidentally clicked on a ceramic crystal, but this time I, uh, I mean to click on it. Uh, so, I got a really bad player. Uh, this guy isn't so bad. Actually, this guy is a lot better than me. Uh, but I got a new strategy. So, I might not work on good players like this guy. Like, he's probably going to go farm and kill me. But it, but it works on some maps. So I'd say it works on this map. So the strategy is, you need an ace, you need a chipper, and then last of all, you're going to need the one. The only. Can anybody guess what it is? The dartling gun. So the dartling gun is actually going to be doing most of our popping power. So we're obviously going to do... uh income on this map. We got a tax share in case of Blade Maelstrom. So I'm not expecting to win any of these like really good games or anything. But I, I at least want to win a few games. So we're go we're gonna build an ace right away. Uh so he's gonna go farm. Uh pretty common. Pretty common. So as I said before, the strategy might not work against the best of all players. But it definitely will uh, work against some lower level t uh, players, such as Ceramic Crucible, uh, Rainbow Ruins, anything lower than that, probably. And you might you might have might be in a little bit of struggle fast when you first uh, start with the strategy. Once you get a hang of it, it can be pretty useful. So Ace pretty much just chops up like the big group sends. Uh, you send income. Uh, your dartling gun is just just there because because he wants to be there, and yeah, that's the strategy. It's uh, pretty simple. Yeah, the chipper is just for pinks and everything. Like this guy, so rudely wanted to send me. And you can also uh, sell your chipper. I usually like to go for powerful darts. Obviously, this this strategy may not work out for you, just it might not work out for most players. Uh, I'm not saying that you're bad at the game if it doesn't, but I, f I found it quite useful. So it is prime, it is really hard to start off with economy with the strategy, which is definitely a problem, but you will have a lot of defense by the end of the game. Uh, might make you leak a few lies, whatever. I don't know. You might have to, might have to boost every once in a while when you might not want to, but it definitely is keeping your opponent off guard, which is one of the best things about this strategy. So I'm going to have to boost here, uh, which is kind of upsetting. I didn't really want to boost this early in the game. Let's get you and you. So he probably has no idea what I'm doing right now. He probably doesn't know I'm making a YouTube video off like these strategies and everything. Uh, yeah, I'm not really trying to kill this guy or anything. I, I probably will lose. I mean, I'm guaranteed loss right now. But I'm just trying to show off this strategy. I mean, like I said before, it might not work in Moab Pit or BFB Coliseum. But if you're a new player to the game, uh, I definitely do recommend this strategy. I'm, I'm not saying it will work 100% of the times. But I just beat someone with this strategy. And it was surprisingly actually not that hard. Uh, yeah, really, the main part of the strategy is it kept his your opponent off guard. Because the Dartling Gunner, uh, pretty much all the other towers in the strategy are pretty overused. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it can defend uh, pretty good. I might have to boost again. Again, I'm not trying to win this. I, I was expecting a worse player because 
I usually don't see a lot of good players in Ceramic Crucible, so it's like going to try and play around with it or whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. This is where problems come. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're gonna lose here. Unless so we get, like, a really fast Blade Maelstrom, which means we'd have to sell everything. Uh, yeah. So, like you saw there, it might not guarantee you a win or anything. We have, yeah. Uh, so the strategy is not the best. I will point that out. I think the ace in the ace and ninja, which is a strategy that Chris did last night on his YouTube channel, is definitely uh, more more better than this. Let's say that. But this, this strategy can work. Let's hope we get a. Uh, yeah. So this is what I mean by like people in ceramic crucible. Like I mean people like this. Like, in Wins and Ceramic Crucible, I, I don't care if I get a loss. Like, I have plenty of medallions. So this game, this map isn't the best for the strategy. So I'm going to have to switch it up a bit. The, pretty much the main two towers are Dartling Gunna, Ace, and Chipper. Let's see what a random tower is. Whatever your random tower is, it can be pretty useful. The, the game is pretty much Dart Farm, Chipper, whatever. Uh, and then I really want, like, some new strategies. That's why I did, like, a whole episode on Clicker Heroes about it. Like, uh, Flash versus Steam. Yeah. So, let's see what this guy starts off with. I'm guessing he might do... I don't even know what he might do. There's not a lot of spots for Ace on this map. So, he starts off with a sub. Boy. Yeah, there's not a lot of spots for an Ace. So, I think I'll just start off with my Dartling Gunner. So, there you go. If he sends in economy, uh, I'm pretty much screwed at this point, because Dartling Gunna's low-level ones aren't good against uh, dealing with... But he doesn't have that big of a defense. I doubt that he's going to be sending in the economy. He doesn't look like the type of person to even know what it is. I think he just got, like, a free spin. Actually, that's where I got uh, my strategy from. I was just in a free spin. I randomized. I was like, eh, whatever. Uh, I guess I'll use... Uh, all these towers, and they actually worked out quite nicely. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so let's get our Dartling Gunna up to uh, second tier. Because I love that Dartling Gun. Yeah! Boy! Uh, so if he, this guy was a really good player, he would be sending economy. Which he is not. <coughs> so yeah. Uh. Like I said before, I say it works around like all the arenas, all the way up to Ceramic Crucible. Uh, maybe not Ceramic, not maybe not all the games in Ceramic Crucible, but definitely the majority of the games in Ceramic Crucible will be won using this strategy, because there isn't the best players. And I'm not saying that you should use the strategy if you like you have millions upon millions of medallions or anything. I'm just saying if you're like a newer player that doesn't have everything unlocked. Uh, I'll definitely say that farms are definitely more efficient. I might do, like, a whole series on this kind of thing. Like, like, I don't even know, like, uh, strategies. Like, if you, if you are getting, like, really bored of, like, grinding or something, and, like, there's only Ceramic Crucible open or something like that, uh, like, just watch one of my, uh, strategy videos, and I'll help you try and mix it up. Because I know it does get kind of boring after a while. Using the same strategy over and over again. Uh, yeah, but that's what I'm here for. So I think I'm going to build our Dartling Gunner. Uh, we have a pretty nice economy. I haven't been sending like the whole time. Because I've been trying to get up defense. And I don't really think it's completely fair if I just continuously send it. Because... Man, this guy hasn't even been sending, like, a thing of economy. I don't see any banana farms, unless they're invisible. I don't see any cobras, no engineer traps, no heli pilot abilities, no snipers. I don't see anything of money. Most of those weren't even the best way to go with money. Yeah. Actually, I should I should save up for a rush or something. Uh, so this, this strategy will be pretty good in later games. An ace is pretty good late game tower. You can micro that uh, 
ground zero Billy pretty fast, it will be okay. Uh, what you might call it? The 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 Spectre is also pretty good. Dirtling gun is for Ray of Dooms or the other upgrade, whatever they're called, Hydro rockets, I think. And also, yeah, and also the Tripper is definitely pretty good for late game. So I might kill him here because. He doesn't even know that it was Regor Leds are in there. Uh, so bye bye. Also, rushes are pretty important. I kill a lot of uh, batter players, unlike levels like this. So if he doesn't, if he doesn't die here, I does. Uh, so yeah, the point of this video is not to win, just to show you the strategy. I might do like two more games. Let's say I'm gonna check on my recording again. Yeah, like let's say two more games or something. So doesn't want to play again. I don't even think he can. About 40 keys. Not the best player in the world. Uh, I don't even think I've been playing all that much this week. Let me actually look. Uh, how many keys do I even have? Uh, mm, members. Laughing Cow FC. Yeah, I don't have that many keys. Uh... I'm not like a super good player. I don't play that often. Uh, but when I do, I don't usually like to go like the same strategy over and over and over again. Uh, so this guy, he's a little bit better. Uh, he has like a, a reasonable amount of medallions. The sad thing is he spent like all his medallions trying to get in. Uh, so this map is really good for the strategy. He's crying for some reason. I don't know why he's crying. Yeah, I, I think he's crying because of my medallion count. Uh, so know that I'm gonna bring in a different strategy than he normally sees, like they're from Chip or whatever. Uh, I got an ice tower. Yeah, it could be pretty nice on this map. Uh, I'm not saying that ice towers are good. They're only really good in flash. They're, they're like super good in flash though. Like if you do like a stalling ability or something like that. So. I'm gonna start off with an ace. Just plop him down right there. Yeah, so he's not gonna be the most effective thing in the world. I don't even know what he's gonna start off with. Uh, I don't know. Whatever, let him do what he wants to do. <sighs> yeah, let's get a dartling gunner right as soon as possible. Yeah, and get him to uh second tier before you do anything. You know what? He's not he's not building anything at all. He, he's, no, I just had an idea. It, what if he starts off with like a super monkey or something? No, I'm just gonna balloon boost these things. He's he's literally not building anything. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that's that's perfect. That's just perfect. Uh, so he made me waste my balloon boost, but he battle energyed. So, yeah. I was hoping I could just kill him there because I want to move on to like a better player or something with the strategy and everything. So there we go. We see some balloons popping out at us. The ace is going to do a lot of help. I hope we don't have to boost the strategy. Right, so tell me what you think of the strategy. It's, it's whatever. It's not the most efficient. It's not the worst strategy I've ever seen. Uh, I think the worst strategy I've ever seen is like Ice Mortar Wizard, if that's even a strategy. I don't know why. If, if, I don't know if it's just me or something, but I've been seeing the Mortar used a lot lately. Uh, the worst two, ta worst two towers in least BTD5 are definitely the Wizard Apprentice and the Mortar Tower. Yeah. I might try and do a, a strategy video with both of them. Just, uh, maybe, like, mortar something for, like, the leads and burning stuff. And, I, again, I know this I know this game isn't, like, uh, the old BTD battles, like, BTD Flash or whatever. Uh, but I, I, I want a few more strategies. I just hit my microphone. You probably heard that. So let me check on my recording. Can you even see? Yeah. My voice is turning out pretty good. I use open broad... I use open broadcasting system downstairs, so, I mean, not downstairs, I mean up here. Okay, so I really haven't been sending any income at all. I mean, 
it's it's really a strategy that you can't like you can barely send any in command. Yeah. Boy there we go. Let's let's get faster firing on this bad boy. Uh send some more con me in. It's almost round uh, ten, so that's like the best uh time for economy. How do you get down to eighteen lives? I wasn't paying attention really. We don't have any lead detection. It's a spike factory. I, I, I doubt that I can do a strategy video with the spike factory in like any way. At all. Wait, wait, wait. Uh oh. Yeah, just the lead. Whatever. Might not have enough money. Wait. No. There we go. He's saying sorry, thinking he's going to kill me. Mate, you're not going to kill me. I have a chipper up my sleeve. Yeah, I have a chipper up my sleeve. What you going to do about that, huh? I might sell both of my uh, guys just for around 13 rush. Yup. I actually need to boost my side because they're going to get quite far. But yeah, he's going to die to that. Well, anyway, guys, uh, it's a shorter video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of a uh, new strategy that maybe you can make happen. Uh, you guys, like, help me form it or whatever. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, unsubscribe, join the Mossy for today. Anyway, guys, bye bye.